Why, hello everybody, welcome, my name is Ruby Dong, welcome to today's episode. As you can see, I am over here at the main base. That is because I am over here doing a little bit of construction. So last episode, I was building up a couple of these tunnels here. So that way I could put in the little horse stable. Uh, so I just kind of built this little area over here, but while I was in between doing stuff in between episodes, I did a little bit of an expansion here and I built up this little donut kind of shape in the base here. So that way I can put in uh, a handful of things that I was wanting to do. Number one, a kind of branch off route from this because uh, my options for branch off routes, either I built one on the opposite side of here, which I honestly wouldn't have minded, but... Oh, uh, <laughs> I would have wound up leading it all the way into the middle of the lake, which uh, I've always kind of wanted to stay away from the inside portion of the lake. I've always wanted to kind of keep my base on the outer edge of it, so I'm not planning on extending my base into that. But instead, so I'm leaving over a whole area here, so that way I can begin building up the race area. I'm hoping through this side over here to race horses but this way as a future possible extension area it also could just be i build the racetrack this way i'm still debating on where i'm wanting to build it exactly so i'm kind of thinking maybe put the racetrack here i kind of go around the side of the lake here opposed to directly the middle of it as you can see i don't want to really build too much of the middle of the lake i feel this is kind of an ugly thing to be building here. This is one of the longest lasting structures in my world. It's just a lake, <laughs> but still kind of like one of the more defining things I've had in my world. This is this large lake in the middle of my world. So I don't really want to disturb that. I kind of want to keep that here. So I'm thinking of maybe busting out this wall portion here and extending a hallway down. So I am going to go quickly put this horse away because it's not going to do me very much good to sit on a horse while building this and i am going to begin building the nice little hallway all right so i have built up a bit more of the tunnel so now i have this whole circular thing but more importantly i have the actual length of where i'm going to be putting the horse racing track so this is kind of runs through over the top of the this area here <laughs> oh golly Oh, it's so annoying to get back up there once I fall down here. But luckily, I brought some logs with me so I can complete an important part of the space that I have yet to do, which is putting in the corners here. So uh, where is an easy one that I can put in? That's uh, I'm not going to be messing up here to get back up there. And I think right here. So I completed the actual horse track itself now. So, after I put this in and hop all the way back up there, I have to be careful not to fall down here. It's very easy to do so. Hey, there we go. Like a glove. And now what I have to do is go through here and put in the actual horse racing mechanism. So, a uh, three block gap. I then want to put down the pressure plate. So, one, two, three, pressure plate. Then I want to put down the actual gate. So one, two, three, four. I don't even need to really count that. I have only 15 in my inventory. And like that. So we now have the actual measure of how fast they go. But as you can see there, I need to get the whole thing to get hooked up to go when I start it. So I have some bookshelves here to put down for that. So I'm using some decoratory bookshelves, if you will. And then after I put this in, so that is now going to be all of the gates capable of being powered if I run redstone over the top of this. Don't know if I'm actually going to keep it like that, but now when I run over this, I have a good measure of how many blocks I'll be going at a time. Um, I probably do want to put it back by one though. Uh, I'm now realizing because when the horse starts, it is not going to get off the pressure plate until that time. So everything is going one block faster than it should be. So I'm putting the pressure plate back one. Uh, though technically it would probably be better if I move this back one. So if I go over here and put this here, I need to make one more bookshelf. So I'll hook that up here in just a second. 
and uh, now I can move this here. And whenever I step on the pressure plate, I should be fine and dandy because when I step on it, it's the removal part that takes a second. Because I can stand here for as long as I want. It's not going to be until I get off it that the actual time is done. Now, all I have to do is go through here and hopefully put up more bookshelves above this area because I want it to be mainly bookshelves. I need to put one more all the way back here. But just to be sure as well, I'm going to put up a little wall here to make sure I don't run my horse off the edge while doing some testing here. Uh, but now I can grab my horse uh, and actually run it down the length of this to make sure it works. It's not gonna work perfectly the first time because of how I have it hooked up. Uh, it is going, the horse is going to be able to climb over the side of it. So like that, because the horse automatically climbs up one block if you run over it. So I do have to be careful of that. But now what I want to do is get off this. I want to, yeah, see it does that because I have that exposed but i do know that this is capable of working with horses now so yeah there we go and yeah as you can see there he goes off there so now what i need to do is rake some more bookshelves here in just a second and put those up all right so i had to do a little bit of afking over at the cow farm in order to get this work i was completely out of leather like not a drop of the stuff but after a little bit of work there, I was able to get the leather I need in order to get this nice and operational. So, I can have a little sprint down this thing, and you can see it goes quite nicely. Um, so, oh, luckily it fixes itself when I do something like that, so don't have to worry about doing that too often. But now I can actually go through here and test the speeds of my horses. But uh, first, I want to get some signs so I can actually properly label the actual area. So that way I know where I'm stopping. Uh, because I don't want to just count out literally every time I want to actually have signs properly designating that. So I just need to run all the way down here. And while I'm running down here in order to uh, get some signs, I do want to stop off at this branch right past here in this direction opposed to going and getting the wood because I do just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on something because you may have noticed that I said I was AFKing the cow farm. That is because I have finally gotten the cow farm nice and operational. So I built this quite some time ago. But I've just been sitting here breeding up cows whenever I get the chance. And finally, I have enough breeding stock in here that I can sit there and breed them. And also, they no longer clip through the glass here. So they kind of fix that at one point. But I can sit there and breed them. The one tolls will go through that area, stand there on that trap door. And when they grow up, their drops will fall in that hopper. And I collect some here. In which case, I have been collecting a lot of beef from here. So I might actually wind up swapping over my main food source over to steak because I've just gotten that much beef from that area. So that's something I might wind up doing in the future. But for right now, let me go grab some signs and hang them up over the actual uh, speed tester. All right, so I've gone through here and have marked up all the numbers from one to 15. So that will be able to measure from one to 15 blocks per second here now. So. With this nice little setup, I can accurately measure the speed of both of my horses. So, I just need to get them all the way out here and into the proper area. Alright, so, once I start this, then the time will begin. So, that is at 9 blocks per second. Then all the way back and put them in the pen. I believe that's accurate to my last test with, uh, with him. So now I just need to uh, go all the way with this boy. All right, and start the race. Also nine luck, so they're the exact same. So with this knowledge now known, uh, I can begin breeding these guys up here 
and I can begin trying to breed myself a faster horse. Uh, which simply the easiest way to do that is just to breed two fast horses. And for my base here, I really just need fast horses. I don't really need any other type of horse, just a fast one. I don't need one that has a good jump or one with a lot of health. Like those would be nice stats, but right now I just need to breed up something fast. That's all I really need. And in order to breed them up, all I'm going to need here is going all the way down this side is i believe i need where is it there we go i just need some carrots and um gold so uh i technically just need a little bit of gold it's a bit overkill that is grabbed here turn that into ingots turn that into nuggets then a doom and a doom and then just drop these in and then turn these back into ingots and just drop them back off in here so now i can go back and actually actually breed up my horses here so that way i can begin trying to get myself fast horses so i'm going to be doing this in between episodes probably not something i'm going to be focusing on too heavily it's not something i can just willy-nilly do whenever i want i actually have to be a little bit attentive to speed and that kind of stuff so i can't just afk it sadly <laughs> i can afk the breeding time but i can't afk like actually breeding them so i have to actually be measuring them so we're gonna be slowly doing this between episodes but either way breed up and we now have a nice little baby horse still don't know the name of them and this one appears to be black with white spots because if i remember correctly it is just a black one yeah this one's just black this one's brown with white spots this is a uh, black with white spots so that's cool that's cool <laughs> but either way with that now nice and out of the way we can begin doing that and that's probably gonna wind up being it for today's episode so i do hope you enjoyed my little experiments and my actual uh ability to make that there and that's now a permanent addition to the base and we now have that nice little route that I'll be using for expansion, along with future ideas of what I'm going to be doing with this base area. One thing I also have to keep in mind as well with this new expansion to the base, as always with my expansion to the bases, um, when I'm running all the way out here, you're going to notice something a little bit important. Uh, this area over here is when I get to about somewhere around here. If I check my actual inventory here, the speed's gone. So... I need to set up another speed beacon out here. <laughs> um, I believe it's just a uh, distance by this measure, not on this measure. So I just need to put another beacon about right over there or so. So hence why I'm not expanding the base that direction because then a beacon would be in the way there. So uh, that's kind of why I'm not doing it there. But either way, guys, that's probably going to be doing it for today's... Is that snow? Never noticed there's snow there. Why is there snow there? And there's a little bit of ice. I think that's, wait, is that a cold biome that's over there? I'm getting distracted. Either way, guys, I do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. That's going to be doing it for today. So, I'll be seeing you guys here in the next one. Uh, so long. See ya. Um, bye.